President Trump is signaling a shift in the U.S. approach to North Korea. Since the death of American college student Adia Warmbier, the president has apparently lost faith in China's ability to pressure the country. Mr. Trump says that China tried but failed to help curb North Korea's nuclear program. Margaret Brennan is at the White House with more on this. Margaret, good morning to you. Good morning. President Trump's national security advisors will meet today with top Chinese officials here in Washington. They'll press for ramped up sanctions on North Korea and threaten unilateral action if Beijing doesn't comply. It's a total disgrace what happened to Otto. That should never, ever be allowed to happen. President Trump said Otto Warmbier's life might have been saved if North Korea released him sooner suggesting that President Obama may bear some blame for failing to secure his freedom. Frankly, if he were brought home sooner, I think the result would have been a lot different. Multiple Obama administration officials told CBS News that North Korea refused to engage with or allow the U.S. any access to warm beer. Former Obama aide Ned Price insisted warm beer had been a high priority. Our efforts on his behalf never ceased, Price said, even in the waning days of the administration. With Kim Jong-un still holding three Americans and continuing missile tests, the Trump administration has leaned on China for leverage. White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer claimed that strategy has shown some success. We've had, I think, positive movement on China over the past five months of this administration, um, and we'll continue to work with them and others to put the appropriate pressure on North Korea. Yet 45 minutes later, President Trump tweeted that the strategy had failed. While I greatly appreciate the efforts of President Xi and China to help with North Korea, he said, it has not worked out. At least I know China tried. That admission indicates relations could turn contentious, yet stop short of a return to Mr. Thank Trump's hardline position from the campaign trail. What I would do very simply is say, China, this is your baby. This is your problem. You solve the problem. And next week, President Trump will meet with the new South Korean president at the White House. He revealed to Nora O'Donnell his hope to negotiate directly with North Korea. If we achieve that freeze in North Korea's programs, then I believe we will be able to sit down and talk with the North Koreans to achieve complete dismantlement. And I hope that President Trump agrees with my view. Now, China does favor direct talks with North Korea to negotiate a peace treaty, but U.S. officials fear that still won't eliminate the nuclear threat posed by North Korea. President Trump appears to be giving China one last try to fix it. All right, Margaret, got it. Thank you very much.